Dear Santa, Yo, what up? It's your boy, Two Rabbit. How's the wife? Do you still eat ass? Sick. Anyways, what the hell, man? This is how I find out I'm on your naughty list? When I sent you my list, I made it clear that I only wanted the very dankest of bud. And I figured, because you chuff on a clay pipe all day, that you would know a thing or two about a thing or two. So imagine my surprise when you decide to slide your fat hog down my chimney and drop this hot load under my Christmas tree. I mean, what were you thinking, man? Sure. The nugs are redder than your rosy cheeks, I'll give you that, but they're as dry as your taint over the arctic. I mean, look at it. It's swag meat. Puffed up beasters. It's tourist bait. In 2020. Grow up. Eternal child, you smoke like one. I gave some to my friends said it was Santa's best. They found me later at work. They beat me up in front of my co-workers. Then they all took turns spitting on me. And when it was all said and done, I'm the one who had to apologize. And you know what? They're right, man. You would think with the lineage this strain has that the flavor would absolutely sodomize my taste buds. But the piddling aroma and substandard smack left everything to be desired. I mean, my god, it's a strawberry OG Tropicana cookies cross. B should be trying to pollinate me as I walk down the street. Instead, my dog won't even look me in the eye. And before you even say it, yes, its THC percentage is sitting pretty high at 28%. But you know what? High THC doesn't mean jack when the high is mostly forgettable. All that THC does is blow you past the feel-good station, straight to Sleepy Town. So, in conclusion, you smoke like a bitch. I'll write to Krampus next year. At least that guy knows what good Tuca is when he sees it. Sealed with a kiss. Mwah! Two rabbit. P.S. Next time just shove coal in my stocking. At least it would have smoked better. Wait, you're a cheeky little Don't give you that. Else, saddle up the reindeer. Daddy's making a house call. <laughs>